Princess Leonor of Spain is the king's oldest child and presumed heir to the throne. So why is there still a question over whether she will ever reign? Since 1917, the children of the reigning British monarch have been given the title of prince or princess upon birth. But that's not the case in Spain, where only the heir apparent or presumptive bears the prince-princess title. All other children and grandchildren of the monarch are born with the title Infante or Infanta, depending on their gender assignment at birth. At the time of Princess Leonor's birth in 2005, her father, then Crown Prince Felipe, was not the monarch, but rather the heir apparent to his father, then King Juan Carlos. Accordingly, at birth, Leonor was known as Her Royal Highness the Infanta Leonor. She had to wait until her father ascended the throne in 2014 to use the princess title. Her younger sister, Sofia, was also born HRH Infanta and remains as such, even now that her father is king. An eventful day for two little girls, seven-year-old Sofia and eight-year-old Leonor, who's now the youngest heir to the throne in Europe. Spain's monarchy operates under the rules of male primogeniture, which means that if Princess Leonor's father, King Felipe VI, were to ever have a male child, the boy would automatically supersede Leonor and become the heir apparent. With King Felipe and his wife, Queen Letizia, both in their 50s now, that seems less likely. But it is possible. In fact, male primogeniture is how Felipe became king in the first place. By the time Felipe was born in 19. 68, his parents, King Juan Carlos and Queen Sofia, were already parents to two daughters, the Infantas Elena and Cristina. Like Leonor, Elena was regarded as the heir presumptive at birth and remained so even after the birth of her younger sister, Cristina. Five years into her life, however, Felipe was born and Elena lost her status as heir presumptive as he immediately became heir apparent. Despite this, though, Leonor has always been regarded by the people of Spain as their future queen, assuming the Spanish monarchy continues to exist at all. Even after his promotion to king, it's not guaranteed that Felipe will have that job for life. In the United Kingdom, the title of Prince of Wales is traditionally granted by the ruling monarch to their heir. However, in Spain, the heir is automatically endowed the title of Prince or Princess of Asturias when their parent becomes monarch. Accordingly, when Leonor's father, Felipe, became king on June 19, 2014, Leonor's title changed automatically from Infanta Leonor to Princess Leonor of Asturias. She also holds the titles of Princess of Girona and Princess of Viana, corresponding to the firstborn of the Kingdom of Castile, the throne of Aragon, and the Kingdom of Navarre whose union formed the Spanish monarchy in the 16th century. In addition, she has the titles of Duchess of Montblanc, the Countess of Savara, and the Lady of Balaga, according to the Spanish royal family website. Royal watchers have long noted the curious parallels between Princess Leonor and England's Queen Elizabeth II. In 1936, when Princess Elizabeth of York was just 10, her uncle, King Edward VIII, abdicated the British throne with no legitimate heirs to his name. Under the order of succession, the crown went to Edward's next younger brother, Prince Albert of York, who was known, from then on, as King George VI. Since George VI was Princess Elizabeth's father, Elizabeth became heir presumptive over her more outgoing younger sister, Princess Margaret. In 2014, when Infanta Leonor was just eight, her grandfather, King Juan Carlos, abdicated the throne in favor of his son, Felipe. Like Elizabeth, Leonor was, at that point, thrust into her new role as daughter of the monarch, crown princess, and heir presumptive. And like Elizabeth, Leonor is reportedly more reserved than her younger sister, Sophia. In May 2015, less than a year after her father ascended the throne, nine-year-old Princess Leonor received her first communion. Traditionally, the Spanish royal family, which is Roman Catholic, makes quite the big to-do over its family members' first communions, tending to hold them as lavish affairs at the royal palace itself. 
However, the royal family broke with tradition by making this a much more discreet affair. The communion was held at a church in a Madrid suburb, and rather than wearing a special gown, Princess Leonor wore her navy and grey school uniform. The Union Tribune noted, Since King Felipe VI came to the throne last year, he has sought to open up the monarchy and bring it closer to Spaniards. In October 2015, on the occasion of Princess Leonor's 10th birthday, King Felipe VI awarded her with the Order of the Golden Fleece. Established in 1430 as one of Spain's highest honours, the Order of the Golden Fleece has been awarded to only 1,200 people over the course of these last eight centuries. Before 2015, only three of its recipients had been female, one of whom was Queen Elizabeth II, who received the honour from King Juan Carlos. Although the honour was first bestowed upon Leonor in 2015, the official ceremony by which she received the insignia of the order did not occur until January 30, 2018. Since that day coincided with King Felipe VI's 50th birthday, it was interpreted as the symbolic launch of Leonor's public life as Crown Princess. Indeed, King Felipe remarked during the ceremony, Today, Leonor, you are taking a very important and symbolic step towards your future role. On October 31, 2018, the same day that Princess Leonor of Spain turned 13, she delivered her very first public address to the people of Spain. Not only was it the princess's birthday, but it was also the 40th anniversary of Spain's constitution, which Spain approved in 1978 as the final severing of ties to Francisco Franco's dictatorship, which officially ended in 1975 when Franco died and Juan Carlos became king. At a commemorative event held at the Cervantes Institute in Madrid, Princess Leonor stood up and read from the Constitution in a firm voice. Still only 13 on October 18, 2019, Princess Leonor also presided for the first time over her namesake award ceremony, the Princess of Asturias Awards. Perhaps most significantly, she took that opportunity to pledge herself to the service of Spain and its people. Throughout the year she turned 13, Princess Leonor made other official public appearances. For example, on June 19, 2019, she helped her father, Felipe, as he gave out awards in connection with the Order of Civil Merit Ceremony to honor Spanish nationals who have provided an important service to the nation. Princess Leonor was on hand once again at 2021's Order of Civil Merit Ceremony, during which the awards focused on recognizing the contributions of frontline workers during the COVID-19 pandemic. Recipients included not only healthcare workers but also supply chain and other public sector workers. On March 24, 2021, Princess Leonor checked off yet another important milestone in her potential journey toward the Spanish throne by conducting her first solo engagement as Spain's Crown Princess. For the engagement, Princess Leonor deposited into a safe deposit box the copy of the constitution she had read on her birthday in 2018, as well as a copy of Don Quixote she read at another event in 2020. A warm welcome from the public and a banner that read, The future is Leonor, greeted her. Four months later, Princess Leonor made her first joint appearance with her sister, Infanta Sofia, without their parents. This engagement involved planting trees in a nature preserve in Madrid in honour of World Environment Day. Like her father, Princess Leonor has had to deal with ongoing backlash concerning the financial and political scandals that factored into Juan Carlos's abdication in favour of Felipe in 2014. Although the King Emeritus has been living in exile in the United Arab Emirates since August 2020, his various scandals continue to tarnish the reputation of the royal family, even as the new king tries to change that image. Despite everything King Felipe has done toward rehabilitating the reputation of the Spanish monarchy, including making public disclosure of his assets and distancing himself financially from his father, anti-royal protests have marred his reign, which now directly affects Princess Leonor. For example, in 2019, People noted that when Princess Leonor delivered her speech at the Princess of Girona Foundation Awards in Barcelona in 2019, she did so bravely amid a backdrop of anti-royal street protests.
As much as King Felipe has made efforts to curtail the lavish displays of wealth that characterized the later years of his father's reign, he has apparently spared no expense in educating the Princess of Asturias. After attending a nursery school for members of the Spanish Royal Guard, she attended a private grammar school in Madrid. In 2021, Leonor began attending UWC Atlantic College, an exclusive boarding school located in a 12th century castle on the southern coast of Wales. She is pursuing her international baccalaureate, which La Prensa describes as a two-year program that promotes an international view of the world. Although some refer to the Welsh institution as a school for princesses, Leonor is said to have applied anonymously, and the school is said to have accepted her without knowing that she is the heir to the Spanish throne. Tuition for Leonor's two-year course of study comes in at just under $93,000. Although the Spanish royal family receives in the vicinity of $10 million from the state budget to maintain their household, the king and queen are paying the school's tuition with their own money. Not surprisingly, the royal family's decision to send Leonor out of the country to complete her education has drawn criticism from some. When the King and Queen of Spain announced in 2021 that they were sending their eldest child and heir to the Spanish throne, Leonor, to Wales to finish her primary education, radio station RTVE reported that Leonor is leaving Spain, like her grandfather. This headline, which was subsequently scrubbed, seemed to suggest an analogy between Leonor's being sent off to school in Wales on the one hand and her grandfather's political exile in Abu Dhabi on the other. The radio station later apologized for the inflammatory clickbait headline. Indeed, whereas Juan Carlos actively distanced himself from Spain and the royal family for the sake of his son Felipe's public image, Leonor is in good stead with her family and participates in royal engagements whenever she is home from school. For example, on April 20th, 2022, while home on Easter break, Princess Leonor conducted her second solo royal engagement. This one was a cybersecurity conference at a Spanish high school, at which she participated in a roundtable discussion regarding cybersecurity and social media in an expert-moderated debate. A few days later, on April 23rd, she and her parents and younger sister visited with refugees from Ukraine. All in a day's work for the heir presumptive and probable future queen of Spain.